Good afternoon, dear friends. My name is May East, and on behalf of the Finhorn Foundation, I would like to extend a welcome from the heart to each one of you, to all those who came from distant lands, for those who came from so many different regions, to those who came from our own community and bioregion, a special warm welcome to the NVC international community, to Valentina, to Marshall, to Dominique. Finhorn has been always a place of listening since the very beginning, 44 years ago, listening to nature, to the land, listening to the deep voice within, listening to one another, and translating this listening into outer action. And furthermore, communicating to the world the results of this process of listening. Over the years, some of us have drank in the well of a compassionate and nonviolent communication while learning how to alternate the voices of inspiration with the voices of advocacy. So for us, it's a great moment in our history to welcome the wider NVC community here in the center of, our, of this community, the Universal Hall, for the next three days. The ancient ones would say that when you start a journey, plant a seed, a seed of your intention. If you plant the seed of your intention in the field of pure potentiality, the seed will have a self-organizing mechanism that will guide, will inform, and surpri surprise your journey. I know there are many seeds of intention here in this room, but one of them, one that is alive, is that the next three days, under the inspiration and guidance of Marshall Rosenberg, we'll be able to awaken further our compassionate heart so that we can perform better work in the world. So with these words, I pass now to Dominique, my new, old, maybe ageless friend, <laughs> to introduce himself and Marshall. Thank you. From a, a Brazilian woman living in the UK to an Englishman living in Brazil. I looked for a long time for a way to practice peace in my daily life. Inside myself, together with you, and systemically, socially to engage actively from the spirit of peace with the systems that we've created and with which we are living so that they are constantly responsive to my needs, to our needs, to our universal values. And I've had the privilege to gain access to that possibility and learn from the experience of others through meeting Marshall Rosenberg. And this has brought much turbulence and joy and discovery into my life. And my hope for our time together is that we will remain open to all the possibilities of change within ourselves and between ourselves as we consider this possibility. That we will think it through, challenge it in our minds and in our hearts, and ultimately walk away with it not as something that we've heard from others, but as something that is now ours. So that's my wish for us all. And with that, I wish us all a pleasant journey. I'd like to introduce the person who has focused our attentions on this event and is going to lead us in our learning, Marshall. <laughs> 